So this is Arthur. Arthur is a mini Labradoodle and Arthur is very, very ball focused. He's, uh, he's actually really smart. Uh, but before I go into that, he's three year old. He's been coming to the farm since he's about seven months old, so almost three years now. And um, he's proven that he's very smart because you should see the little gut. Yes, the ball. Yes, that's right. <laughs> To see the the game that he starts with himself he's got super high energy he doesn't stop all day so when we're doing other activities that don't involve a ball he goes and takes himself off for a little play a little circuit by himself where he takes his favorite ball goes to the top of the dock there nudges it off himself and then runs around and swims in and gets it and he just continues the endless loop until we start playing ball again don't you mate Yes, you do. Very, very smart. And a few dogs are twigged on. They started joining in and ruining his game as far as he's concerned, but they think it's fantastic because he just keeps dropping it into the water. Don't you, buddy? Hey? And tennis ball and, uh, and swimming are his two favourite things. He loves the water. And one of the other things that he loves is when he sleeps over with him and his brother, Billy. They just go all day, all day, all day, and then as soon as they go inside, <laughs> they disappear on the couch. And then it's hard to get them up to even go to the toilet afterwards. They're like, I'm done for the day. I'm staying here. Don't you, mate? But as soon as he gets outside, he's all about, look at him, look at him. Ready, Arthur? Go on. He'll find that ball no matter what. If another dog gets it, that's fine. He'll follow him around until they drop it, and then he'll pick it up straight away and, and bring it back. I'll either drop it at myself or, or Sam's feet, uh, and that's all he wants to do. So uh, you can see now one of the other dogs has got it, and he'll just follow and search the whole time, looking for who's got it. So Cleo's got it, doesn't take him long. He's on the sand already, he's like, which, where did this go? It's in the water now though. Good boy, Arthur, you got it, mate. Good boy, up here, up here. Good boy, well done. Good boy. He also likes just his ball. So it doesn't have to be the same type of ball. Arthur has a very, well, it's a habit of bringing him here like a piece of a ball <laughs> and dropping it at the foot and going, here you go, throw it, throw it, Luke. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? It's literally just like a smidgen corner. Here you go, look at him waiting. Ready, mate, go! <laughs> so Arthur started coming up way back in the day uh, on Small Dog Day and uh, he was just really really fast and uh, started just outperform all the small dogs um, and we we trialed him on a big dog day and he just as you can see he's faster than half the guys here and um, and you know holding his own well and truly um, very very ball focused like i said but uh, now he's here with his brother every week and uh, showing billy the ropes that's billy there and look at him he's still looking for that ball someone must have grabbed it going back to find it, he'll trace it. Wherever he can get on the sand, he'll follow it along. So Arthur is uh, hands down the fastest of the of the small dog category on the farm. And uh, we clocked him doing 43 Ks an hour on the quad. Um, and that's significant. He's, he's faster than most of the big dogs here. Uh, so he got a, he got a mention as, as uh, a title holder. Um, but even when, uh, the, the big groups out, he just seems to pick gaps and carve them up. He, uh, he does very, very well and just doesn't stop, keeps going. Just look at him, he's constantly on the move. He doesn't want to rest. He knows that there's rest time at the end of the day. He wants to take full advantage of his farm days, uh, whether it be the swimming, chasing the ball, finding the ball. Uh, and this is what he loves to do. He loves to, ha loves to have this job and, and he does it better than most. Zafa.